the walkway is super icy to get in. There's usually people that will put sand down and salt. But since it's vacation, maybe they, well, somebody shovel. But this is the way I get into my school every morning. And it is usually dark. Hello, we are currently inside my classroom. And what I would like to do is give you guys a tour of what a typical American school looks like. Everyone is on vacation right now. It's February and it's a Wednesday night. So nobody should be in the building. So I don't have to worry about like filming my students or any students that go here. It would kind of be against the law if I put them on YouTube, especially without their parents' permission. But um, the building is totally empty, so it's important that I don't show any student names even because that's against the law. But I think we're pretty safe, and if you would like to see what a typical American school looks like, empty, I can show you around a little. I'll start with my classroom and it's going to be what we sometimes say in the United States, it's gonna be warts and all, meaning I didn't clean up. The last day of um, vacation is usually a pretty messy one. We usually have like a, a little party with food. For this vacation, the Friday before, we made pancakes for all of our students. We have about 80 students, so we had like four griddles going, flipping, um, making pancakes and um, a couple parents came in to help us out. So it is a little messy before I show you. I just want to warn you, it's a little messy. My desk is a little bit messier than it usually is, but not that, not that much messier. It's, it's kind of messy sometimes. So all of the chairs are put up every night and I have a few extra in here, um, but because this wall uh, straight across opens up. So there's another classroom on the other side and we can make it like one big classroom, which is what we did on the Friday before vacation to have our pancake breakfast. But the chairs are all up on the desks because at night the custodians come in and they will sweep the floor. And sometimes they will even uh, wax the floors on vacations, but it doesn't look like they did that this vacation. My books are a mess um, because the students never put them back anyway. So I used to always try to fix the books, but then the next day there would be a mess anyway. So it's messy. There's some student art up on the wall. I don't think you can see any names, which is probably good. We study Latin and Greek roots a lot for our curriculum. And it's important because a lot of Latin and Greek roots are in like a lot of English words. And of course, every American classroom has the American flag because in the morning, we actually pledge allegiance to the flag. And those are the words that we were studying right before break. And there's just, uh, I don't have too many decorations, but of course I love the Beatles and I have some pictures of like my family. And one summer I worked on a Disney TV show back in 2017 called Bug Juice. So. I have a couple pictures up of that. And we study, well, we read a book called A Long Walk to Water. So there's the South Sudanese flag there. And there's my printer. So it can get a little busy in here sometimes because everybody prints to my room. But most people are pretty quiet when they come in and get their papers. Right, so we will uh, make our way into the hallway now. And I think the first thing we're gonna come to is the bathroom. 
So um, if you've ever wanted to see what the inside of a American school bathroom looks like, let's go in, nobody's here. We could go into the ladies room, but um, we'll go into the guys room. So there's the women's room, but even though nobody is here, let's just, we'll stay out of there and we'll go into the guys room. There's a typical American water fountain for you. This might be a little bit interesting. The week before February break, we had special days leading up to vacation. You can see Monday was monochromatic Monday. And like I was talking about with the Latin and Greek roots, if you don't know this large word, like if it didn't say one color there, you might be able to figure out like, okay, mono means one. Chromatic, you may be able to figure out that that has something to do with a color. So that's some of the stuff that we teach our students is trying to figure out words with those Latin and Greek roots. Tuesday is tie-dye Tuesday. And if I'm really good, I'll put up a picture of what a tie-dye t-shirt is. But I think that is authentically American. And then sports day, pay a dollar to wear a hat, which I did. Tourist Thursday, that was a snow day. We didn't have school that day and nobody got to dress up as a tourist. And then PJ, which stands for pajamas and crazy hair day. I was asked specifically by my own children not to dress in my bathrobe like I normally do. So I actually, I think I just wore jeans, like something like what I'm wearing today, jeans and a kind of a shirt. All right, let's go into the men's bathroom. Men. And the light is off, but as I walk in, it automatically comes on. So this is it. We get some urinals. That's what those things are called. If you didn't know, urinals, unique to the guy's bathroom. And of course we have, this is called a stall. This is a stall. You'll go in there when you want a little more privacy. And those are our, it's a squeaky door. Those are our rules for the bathroom. It's supposed to be responsible, respectful, and safe. Typical American sink, typical American paper towel holder, typical American trash can. It's the big kind over there. I'm walking around in my socks because my feet, my shoes were a little wet. And so they were squeaking and I didn't want to interrupt our video here. So we're gonna come up to some typical American lockers. And this is one of the hardest things about the first couple days of school is that students have to know how to do this combination and remember their combination. So the lockers seem to have enough room for all the students, for their books and whatnot. Oh yes, we have a, a rule here at school. Hope you can read that. It says, be responsible. Keep cell phones in lockers. Phones off at school. Do students follow that all the time? No. I'm not always taking cell phones away, but every so often, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. All right, so we're gonna walk. I didn't turn the lights on to this part but my school has only two floors and um, that's the downstairs over there, but I'm trying to conserve some energy. So I'm gonna keep the lights off. Here is the gigantic printer that teachers use when they have to run off paper for their entire class. A lot of my work is done on Google Classroom and I even shared some of the videos that I make. I don't use a whole lot of paper in my classroom and there's a, a, a website that I use called Show Me that I make a lot of teaching videos on. And I'll link it up to the top. If you're curious about any of those videos, they're free. And you can pull up some of my class lessons if you want to know a little bit about um, Latin and Greek prefixes or root words, stuff like that. 
we go through a lot of paper every day here. Like I said, I don't too much. I do have to run some things off, which is what we call making copies, run things off. So the next thing we will be coming up to is the library. Then you can see cafeteria, gym, and health center, which is essentially the nurse's office. And right before you get into the library is this bulletin board. You can see the map of the world. And I'm wondering where you are watching from. Let's see, could it be could it be France? Not a lot of people from this channel you can't focus too much on France, Germany, of course, Italy. Oh, Italy's covered up by this D. Come on. Show Italy. I think like 20% of the people that watch this channel are from Italy. Russia. Ah, oh, you're way covered up. But you're you're a big country. I would imagine if you're watching from Russia, you're probably in this part, I would think. Does anybody even live in that part of Russia? But Brazil. You might be watching from Brazil. Um that's the fifth both country that tunes in. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. And Morocco is up there too, and I'm sorry. You're covered up. Morocco, let's free you a little bit from this. There you go. There's Morocco. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. So here's a typical middle school library. Um, not the greatest library probably an average library but you can see got a few books and whatnot a lot of things are going to online books anyway we do have um, access to an online library uh oh somebody forgot their glove they're going to have a very cold left hand over vacation and um, all of my students. All of the students at this school are actually issued Apple laptops. So that's a good thing. They can't keep them. They have to give them back when they're done with the eighth grade, but it's a nice thing. Not a lot of schools get that. Oh, somebody must be learning about the states. Can you guys name all 50 states? If you actually do want to learn about the states on the podcast, I'm plugging the podcast again. I am doing episodes on every single one of the 50 states. I think I've done about 10 of them so far. The New England states, New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Maryland, Delaware, West Virginia, Virginia. I think that's all of them. I'm going to do North Carolina and South Carolina soon. Lights are off in the cafeteria right now, and I think I'll just keep them off, try to save a little energy. But about 200 students will sit here at lunch. That's about half of the school. So the whole seventh grade eats together, and the whole eighth grade eats together. We have a little over 400 students in the school, I believe. Here's an Aquafina water machine that some I'm sure that motor is pretty loud that some students will get it is actually illegal in Maine oh it just stopped for us nice um, it's actually illegal in Maine to sell coke or Pepsi from a vending machine at a school and we are in the gym or gymnasium if you want the whole world word but nobody says gymnasium they just say the gym People are going to the gym. And of course, basketball is very popular here in the United States. But way in the distance, see if I can focus in on that. There is a volleyball net. So the students will play volleyball for their gym class. If you saw the episode I made at Target, students will play volleyball in their gym class, but we don't have a volleyball team that will play other schools. So at the college level, volleyball is a little more popular, but 
for the age that I teach, nobody really plays volleyball on a team. Like, I'm not gonna lie. It feels like I'm here with somebody because I'm talking to you guys, but there's like these crackling noises that are kind of freaking me out. And this light was on when I came in here, but I'm pretty sure nobody is here. But if you look up there, there are cameras in this building for security purposes. Like if there is a fight. And we do have a police officer at the school at all times. And if there's a fight, he can review the cameras to see who started it or what was done. So it's not a really violent school, but I've worked in more violent schools. But every so often we'll have a, a fight, maybe once every two weeks, maybe once a week, but um, happens. I was gonna try to show you the nurse's office, but it's all locked up. You see what, it's like kind of quiet, it's definitely quiet in here and a little dark in some places. I have to turn on all the lights, so I'm a little freaked out being alone in such a big building. And if anybody, if anybody showed up, I would be totally freaked out. So let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, I'm going back into my classroom because I forgot my keys and my keys can actually get into every classroom in the school. And I wanna show you um, some of the stuff downstairs, like some of the special classes, if I can get into the rooms, which I, I think, I, I'm pretty sure I can get in. Typical American fire alarm. If you push and pull that thing, the fire department will be here in about five minutes, but we're not gonna do that today. If I pulled the fire alarm and there wasn't really a fire, it's a big fine. It's like $500 fine. See, I'm walking down the hall and all the lights are off except for this one. So it's just, it's a little freaky. Like why is this one open? But this is, yeah, this is what's called the, the green closet. And it has just a lot of supplies if students need them. We do have some students who don't have a lot of money so they can come in and just grab a shirt if they need it, grab some pants, um, grab some deodorant if they need it, soap, just, you know, anything that students might need shoes and their parents can't afford it for them so this is a nice little little touch gets cold in the winter so there are jackets available a lot of students won't take them because they don't want people to make fun of them which is unfortunate but and i don't know how it is in your country but like teenagers in the u.s will not wear a jacket no matter how cold it is they don't put jackets on we go out for recess um, once a day at my school, unless it's below 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and we'll be outside, it's 21 degrees, students won't put on a jacket. I don't get it. Some will, but there are some that just don't want to wear a jacket. All right, and this is the art room. So students get to take art in the eighth grade, not available to any seventh graders, but this is the art room. Oh, and every, almost a lot of the classrooms have this to try to keep everybody healthy. Hand sanitizer, doesn't work. This season has been awful for sicknesses, diseases, but again. And I've said it on the podcast, as sick as people are this winter, I really can't complain because I do, my heart goes out to what is happening to people in China. It's just awful. And I hope that that gets fixed very quickly. You can't see me, but I'm here. I wanted to show you the, the shop room that has like drills and um, saws where you can do work with wood, but I couldn't find the lights and it was dark in there. So I was a little scared. Like, uh, maybe, maybe I'll show you guys later, but you can just imagine it. There's a whole bunch of drills and saws and stuff that, you know, people can really hurt themselves on, but they can also make some pretty cool projects. So this is 
just about wrapping up the school, but this is the fancy teacher's room. Students aren't allowed in here. So if you want like fancy colored paper, and there is another printer here. And if you want to get some snacks, people, well, I never use this fridge, but it looks like people do use the fridge. I have a freezer, some ice cream if you want. So people bring in their own stuff and uh, like this, look at the, that's the paper that we use probably for the week. And you know, if you want some snacks, teacher's room has it. Oh, even some special coffee K cups, I think they're called. Uh oh, somebody, somebody lost money. Gotta get their money for them. And then, so we got the Aquafina drink machine, but since it's off limits to students, they are allowed to sell sodas in here. So if you had your pick, Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Ginger Ale, Sierra Mist, or Brisk Iced Tea, what would you pick? Talk to me in the comments section. Oh, let's go into the, the teacher's bathroom. Hey, put away your dishes. That's pretty clean, actually. Not bad. Oh, yeah, and there's a little coffee cup. Oh, wait. They have... Why would you pay for them if they're, they're free over here? Right? Anyway, look at this. says drink coffee. I do not drink coffee, but some people might like that. But, yeah, let's go into the bathroom. The special teacher's bathroom. Is it nicer than the student's bathroom? Eh, probably not. Just gives you a little privacy. Oh, if you want things to smell nice, you got cozy cider sipping. But there you go. Can you smell that? It's actually, it's actually almost out. These things. Um, we can get these things free from our custodian and we are encouraged to wipe down our desks and chairs at the end of the day so that it cuts down on some of the sickness. And for all the French speakers, there is French that is offered at the school and we are about to go in French class. So there's some more French on the walls there. I won't embarrass myself by speaking French. I will, I do want to learn French next year, but it's Italian for right now. Oh, and actually, look at that. The Quebec flag, which is actually not that far from where I live, and the French flag, but of course, gotta have the American flag. Even in a French classroom, the American flag is up. Ooh, but. Nice big map of France over here. So if anybody is viewing from France, there's a little French love there for you. Look at that, there. The weather in French. Oh, I can see this, I think. Il fait, il fait froid, il fait froid, il fait chaud. So if I'm saying it wrong and I'm butchering your beautiful language, I do apologize. And up on the ceiling, looks like a science teacher might have put Uranus up there. There's Uranus up on the ceiling. All right, I hope you uh, enjoyed this quick little look around school. I didn't show you every classroom or anything. I tried to just stick to the highlights, unless the room was all dark and scary. So um, if you like this video, please uh, comment, subscribe, give me a like. Um, if you want, leave a comment. I mean, do you drink soda? What soda would you like out of that vending machine? Pepsi? I would have to pick Mountain Dew, but it's not good for you, uh, Mountain Dew. But every once in a while, I'll have a Mountain Dew. Thanks for tuning in, and I will see you next time.